What's up everyone, I Apple Tuber here and in today's video I'm going to go ahead and show you all how to be able to recover your phone if it's stuck on recovery mode, how to be able to fix it. So if your phone is stuck on something like this, let me go ahead and show you an example of. So if your device shows an image like this where it's asking you to go and restore it, I can go ahead and show you all how to be able to recover your phone without any issues and for today's video I'm going to go ahead and use TuneSkid iOS recovery mode which allows you to recover your device back to its normality it also works on iOS 15, iOS 14 and it's able to fix around 150 issues on your iPhone for example the black screen or as I mentioned the recovery mode so for this video all I need you guys to have is your phone your lightning cable which comes with every device and you also need a Windows or a Mac device both work I'm going to be going on using my MacBook so let's get started all right, so once you get your windows, I'll leave a link in the description which will take you directly to this website, which is TunesKit's website. So as I mentioned, this is an iOS recovery system for Mac and Windows. As you can see, it works for Windows and you can have a free trial where you can click this and it will download it or you can go ahead and buy the software. But let's go ahead and get started on the overview. So get your iOS tvOS back to normal all by yourself. So this software will allow us to fix our iOS issues without needing to get our device to Apple. Fix all common iOS or tvOS, as I mentioned, the frozen screen, the black screen, the Apple logo, or the recovery mode, which is one of the most common uh, issues that can happen when you're uh, updating your device. Or you can also have the white screen. So this software will fix all of these as simple as a few clicks. So next thing we can see is that it mentions that this software can recover your iOS system without any data loss, which is amazing. And you can repair your iPhone, your iPad, your iPod Touch, or your Apple TV with ease, which I'm going to go ahead and show you the software very quickly. And you can also bypass various iTunes errors, like the repair iTunes issues, or the put iPhone in and out of recovery mode easily. And also you can fix Apple TV issues if you have that. And yeah, this is basically how it's going to work. Once we have the, the software, which I already downloaded on my laptop, go ahead and just click on the free trial right here. It will download the trial onto your device. Let's gonna open it now. So right there, as you can see, iOS repair, Tunes Kit iOS system recovery is already downloaded on my device. And as you can see, it says device is not connected. Go ahead and connect your lightning cable to your Windows or Mac, and then go ahead and connect it to your device. And once you connect it, it will ask you that you need to trust it on your device. Go ahead and click on trust, enter your device passcode, and right there, as you can see, it has found my iPhone. It's saying iPhone 8, but it's mine is iPhone 12 Pro Max, but that doesn't matter. As long as it finds your iPhone or your iPad, you're good to go. So as you can see, the first thing is enter recovery mode. I do not want to enter recovery mode directly, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how it works. So stuck on white Apple logo, stuck on black screen, that's all the issues, common issues that we mentioned. Click on start. Once you click on start, there's two modes, the standard mode and the advanced mode. So if the standard mode doesn't work for you, you can go ahead and use the advanced mode. But let's get started with the standard mode. Now it will tell you to download your firmware package in case you need to do a DFU mode. So mine is an iPhone, iPhone 12 Pro Max. Then as I mentioned, I need to go ahead and check that my model number is correct which is correct and also the latest is iPhone 15.4.1 click on download once you click on download it will go ahead and download the firmware package as you can see it's six gigabytes so it's going to take a bit time around five minutes at least so I'll be right back once this is done downloading all right so as you can see it's finished downloading the uh, software now it's verifying the firmware package this will be very quick, less than a minute just should be done. So let's wait for it to get to 100% and done. Firmware has been successfully downloaded on your iOS 12 Pro Max version 15.4.1. That's the iOS version. Next, we want to click on repair. So please keep your device connected. Please do not disconnect your device during this time. You need to make sure it's connected at all times. Then once this is done, you want to click on repair. Once you click on repair, just Let's go ahead and say it's enter recovery mode and after that it will go ahead and fix your device. If it's stuck in recovery mode it will enter and then exit and if it's already not into recovery mode for me as you can see it's going to enter recovery mode and then fix it. Or if you have the black screen or like the frozen screen it will go ahead and do that as well. Alright guys so as you know my device does not have any issues so I will not click on repair because it's going to put my device into recovery mode but you do understand the whole idea where you will enter your device download the firmware, 
click on repair it will put your phone into recovery mode if it's not into recovery mode it will take it out of recovery mode and it will go ahead and fix it but as simple as this you can go ahead and fix it and bring it in or out of recovery mode fix the black screen and many other stuff all right everyone i'm back on my iphone as you can see so that was it as easy as that i was able to enter recovery mode exit recovery mode and fix a lot more common issues guys make sure to check out tunes kid ios channel i'll leave the link in description make sure to go ahead and check them out and also subscribe to them they release a lot of great videos and they also go ahead and explain the other common issues like the black screen the frozen screen tutorials where you can also check them out so make sure to subscribe to the ios tunes recovery channel i'll leave it in the description but all that aside that was it for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed it i hope that i was able to fix your device get it out of recovery mode and fix all that hassle. And yeah, that's it for today. Have a great day, everyone. I, Apple Tuber here, signing off.